Today, we're going to learn how to straighten wire. Our favorite wire to use when making puppets is this copper-coated welding rod. It comes in a variety of thicknesses and it doesn't rust easily. However, it's a little expensive and it can be difficult to bend. So for instances like this, when we need to bend the wire in a tight coil, we use 14 gauge galvanized wire. You can buy this kind of wire in any kind of home improvement store. And it comes coiled up like this. So you're gonna need to straighten it. I've straightened the wire as much as I can, and it's still not straight. Alex, do you know any tricks on how to straighten wire? Do I? Yes, I do. <laughs> what you want to do is get a piece of wood and, and a drill bit that's either the same size or slightly bigger than your wire. In this instance, our wire fits easily in a 1 16th inch hole on our drill gauge. So I'm going to use a 5 64ths drill bit because we want a little bit of play. The best thing you can use is hard wood because you're going to be putting a bit of pressure on it. But if you're only doing a few short pieces, you can use pine. I've even drilled into the side of my workbench, uh, which is just two by four, and it works fine. The more you use it, the more you're going to remount that hole, though. Now, take your screw gun or your drill, whatever has an adjustable chuck on it, and set it on the low setting. Tighten up your wire in the chuck itself. And then you're going to run the wire through the hole. But you need to stabilize it on the other side so it doesn't just whip around like crazy. Here's a pro tip. Instead of wearing a glove or uh, using a piece of cloth to stabilize the other side, those have cloth fibers, and if the spinning metal catches on that, it's going to snag and pull on it. So I like to use a paper towel because if anything tears on that, it's just going to tear the paper towel up, but it still protects your hand. Now you can switch your drill to the higher speed setting, stabilize the other end. You're going to draw the wire out of the hole, and once it's out a few inches, bend it at about a 45 degree angle. Now this is pretty straight, but if you want it even straighter, you can take it out of your drill, flip it around, tighten it back up, and then draw it through the other way.
Now you have a very nice and straight piece of wire that you can use in mechanisms. Oftentimes it doesn't bend the ends uh, completely straight because that's what was in the chuck. So I like to trim off those ends and then from there You have wire that can be very easily bent, but also because it's so straight, you can put a lot of pressure on it. And because it doesn't have any kinks in it, it doesn't want to bend on those kinks.